Hey, it's Rokaj, your digital lifestyle expert here with some great tips on how to listen to your iPod in the car. Now, iPod's a great device, but you don't want to wear your earbuds while you're driving. Well, because it's illegal and you can't hear the traffic and you can't hear other things around you and the police don't go for that. So how are some other ways you can do it? Well, I'm here to tell you. First off, uh, one of the basic things you may want to consider when you're listening to the iPod in the car is not draining it and getting some power. So using a cigarette lighter and a power adapter, you're able to plug it in there and keep it charged. So not only are you not draining it when you're in the car, but you're also charging it up. That's a good first step. Also, you got to take a look. You've got your radio there. How do we want to get the noise from here into there? Well, there's a couple of ways to do that. A lot of, a lot of ultra modern cars will actually have this connector in the armrest or in the dashboard. No joke, your Cadillac CTSs and some of your other fancier models will have it right in there ready to do it and the heads up display has all the, the major controls of the iPod right there. So you can keep this uh, in your armrest and still control everything on it. That's one option, but if you don't have the latest model of the Cadillac and you want to listen to your car, if you've got a somewhat modern car, you might see what looks like a headphone jack sitting there in the dashboard. Well, that'll allow you to plug one end into where the headphones go and the other end into that little auxiliary hole in the side. That'll allow you to play it in there. You don't have that? Do you have a, still have a cassette player like my wife does? Well, yes. Your cassette adapter, and those are great. You can find them at any major electronic store. One side looks like a cassette, except it's got a tail coming off of it, and that is the headphone connector that plugs into here. No cassette player, you say? Gosh, well, we still got you covered. This little device here is an FM transmitter. She plugs right into the bottom here, now you can put a charging station towards the bottom here so it can charge and play, but what you would do here is you would set this uh, to a, a blank radio station. And by that, there's gonna be five or six pre-programmed frequencies in here, and you wanna choose one that's not broadcasted on. So if, uh, if 100.7 is on here, and that's your favorite radio station too, well, you're not gonna hear your iPod, you're gonna hear the radio, and it defeats the whole purpose of the iPod, seriously, right? Nah. So when you're purchasing it too, make sure, take a look at the back, because different manufacturers will use different frequencies. So make sure that one of them, uh, at least one of them is not even close to a major frequency being broadcast in your metropolitan area, or you will be very unhappy with the results. But if you get a clear signal here and there, it'll broadcast as a short FM little transmitter from this device to be picked up by your antenna, aha. And you get to listen to your iPod there with no wires, and beautiful stereophonic sound in your whole sound system. Get those 18s in the back kicking to your favorite Beastie Boy song and you're ready to go. They also make cradles that hold it onto the dashboard. So just like the iPod, you can customize it with songs, but customize it to your particular style. Whether it be a cassette adapter, FM transmitter, direct plug-in, custom plug-in because you got a bitchin' car. I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert saying, stream you later.